Welcome to Season 3 of Superior Angling TV, brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Welcome to this week's episode of Superior Angling. We are up here on the Gunflint Trail with Buddy Nick, and today we are going to be chasing rainbow trout. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a, yeah, me too. It's going to be hopefully a good day. It's going to be a really fun day. It's early morning right now. We are rigging up some rods here at the um, Gunflint Trail Center at the motel, and we have about a 15-20 minute drive and then a kind of a long snowmobile ride so conditions out there are absolutely nasty in terms of snow and slush and ice conditions so we are going to be in for a workout we know that we did some riding around yesterday um, kind of helped, broke a trail into kind of where we're going today and it's it's, it's bad it's slushy like like three to four feet of snow and then like a foot and a half of slush so it's it's tough and um, we're fortunate to have some pretty high performance snowmobiles but even those are struggling so it's gonna be a journey today we know that these rainbow trout are very spooky in terms of, of gear that you use so we're putting on fresh fluorocarbon on every rod that we have six and four pound test um, we're gonna be going with some walleye style rods along with crappie style rods just depending on what lures we use but I don't know, you've been fishing yeah, up here this, more than I have, so what do you normally do? Well, this lighter gear is definitely fun for these rainbows. These rainbows put up a heck of a fight, and this lighter gear just makes it that much more fun. And then also, you're able to hook these fish for a lot longer. Those rainbows will shake their mouth a lot. Yeah. It's nice to keep them pinned, so um, getting them up the hole is going to be crucial. Um, there is potential for some big fish, that's why we're using these heavier walleye rods, maybe if the, the crappie stuff isn't working. So if we can get a, a decent sized fish, the walleye rod will definitely help out in our favor. And up here on the Gunflint Trail, like, what do you clear, cl classify as being big? Like, I know last year we filmed a uh, rainbow trout show up here, and, you know, a lot of our fish were, I don't know, 10 to 14, 15 inches would push up, put up a heck of a fight, but you, you're saying there may be some bigger um, potential today, huh? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we've been coming up here to the Gunflint Trail for a long time, and this one lake that we've been going to recently is... Uh, put out some really good sized fish and when I mean good sized fish we've got them upper 20s Oof. 25 26 27 inches is Oof. what we've gotten in the big ones uh, it all depends on the stocking reports and how they are stocking in the years past yep. so it all you know kind of depends on that so. that's the thing about these lakes up here they're totally dictated by DNR stocking and the amount of angling pressure and just kind of your timing on a year to year basis. So heck, if we could see some fish today in that 18, you know, 17 to yeah, 19, exactly. maybe, those, are, those are big fish. Maybe 20 inch range, like those are really big rainbows and they put up a heck of a fight. I mean, you're literally holding on to your rod with appeals drag. They have square tails on them. They fight so hard and they're just absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna be in for a good day. We're gonna finish rigging up these rods here, sip some coffee, and get ready and head out onto the ice. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. It's gonna be a good one. Winter is here, and so are the savings on Lund and Crestliner boats at RJ Sport and Cycle, located in Duluth. We are your fishing boat headquarters for sales, service, rigging, and much more. Shop our great selection of boats for a variety of fishing styles, including Lake Superior trolling, inland lake walleye, panfish, and much more. 
From tillers to side consoles and full windshield models, we sell them all. Stop in and see us today at RJ Sport & Cycle, located off Miller Trunk Highway in Hermantown. Your way of life means everything to you. That's why we put our everything into fueling. We're here for you. Every moment, every day, every season with a dependable propane supply and competitive pricing plans that fit your budget. Superior fuel. Switch and save up to $500 annually on your propane. Visit savewithsuperior.com. Protect your investments this winter with an enclosed trailer from Wittis Trailer Sales, located in ESCO. We also sell cargo trailers, utility trailers, snowmobile trailers, and much more. Did you know we stock a full line of Heinecker snowplows? While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Don't forget about our service center, ready to tackle jobs of any size. Wittis Trailer Sales in ESCO, where customers become friends. Trips like these, you need to bring all the essentials with you, including like safety gear, rope, ratchet straps, extra oil for your snowmobile because you don't know what can happen out there. We know the conditions are already bad. We don't know if we're gonna get stuck or not. So fill your snowmobile up with oil before you even leave. Bring extra with you. AMS oil interceptor is what we rely on because you could be stuck in slush for two or three hours you're gonna burn through oil in your machine. So we bring extra gas with us, extra oil, just cause you do not know what can happen out there. All right, we made it, buddy. We made it, yeah. Heck yeah, that was a little bit of work getting in here. Luckily, it didn't take too long. I don't know, maybe 45 minutes total. Nothing crazy, but um, no, that's good. I'm glad we made it. We're set up on our, on our spot here. This is a rainbow trout lake, rainbow trout only. And what are we kind of fishing here? Uh, we're kind of fishing just like a break on a shoreline. It, this whole lake only gets to about 15, 16 feet deep. So what we're doing is we're kind of fishing up on a shallow kind of gravel spot. The rainbows are up here cruising for bait. Uh, yeah, just breaks off into some deeper water over here, but we're up in the shallow four, anywhere to four to 10 feet of water. We're just gonna drill a couple holes, fish outside. It's really windy today, it's overcast. There's some precipitation in the forecast. I mean, it's just, it's, it's tough conditions. Yeah. See, I mean, it's cold. So we're gonna stay bundled up and fish outside as long as we can and just kind of see how, see how the day goes. We're gonna jump around different spots here on the lake a little bit. Um, maybe jump to a different lake later this afternoon. We don't know. We're gonna see how the day plays out. We're coming into this with an open mindset. So let's grab some rods, grab some Markhams and get going. Good day, I'm excited. Beautiful. I'm marking. You got a fish? Yeah. I'm on. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, I broke through the slush. Yes, look at that. Nice. Oh, baby, that didn't take long no, at all. No, not long at all. Oh. He came in and he just crushed it. Did he really? Oh, yeah. No hesitation. And yes, that's a smaller one for this lake. That shows you the potential that's down here. That's a good fish to start. That's maybe, I don't know, 14, 15 inches. Yeah, still in the first, what, five minutes? A bit. Not so. even. Not even. So, yeah, just a uh, beautiful fish. We can let him go now. Look at that, that is fun. And you so, are using what? Just a, uh, a smaller little tingler spoon. Got a, this perch color tip with a middle head. So. so you can't use live bait on here. So yep, all the minnows you have to use have to be salted. And yeah, just a little middle head on that thing worked just fine, so. Crazy. 
I was running over to come help you and I broke through the slush and fell down, man. Like, that slush is so deep and we are, it's just a thin layer of ice. Like, if that layer of ice wasn't there, like, we wouldn't even be here right now because there's no way you could even get in here towing that big house and all our gear. Oh, man, that's cool. That, uh, that didn't take long at all. No, not long at all, so. Yeah, cool. And he, you graphed him when he just came right up just and found you. Cabsily smoked it, so. The nice, was a patient. the nice part about right now is today is the trout opener, so these fish are unpressured, so they haven't seen baits in a long, long time. How high were you digging off bottom on that one? I was only about a foot, foot and a half off bottom, okay. so. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty, I mean, this is crazy. It's, you guys, you, you think trout fishing, you think deep water, but up the Gunflint Trail here, all of, so many of these lakes are just shallow, like they max out at 20, 30 feet, so. We're only fishing six or seven feet of water right now. And there's just not that much space down there. So no. um, we are on a little a, a break here, but again, it's not like we're fishing 50, 60, 70 feet. We are shallow, shallow water. So these fight times are gonna be, especially on those smaller fish, are gonna be, be pretty short. Um, but again, clear water. So we're jigging up off bottom a little bit. These fish can see a long ways. and. Yeah, just kind of get your bait up and jig away. And you grabbed that one for about a second before it hit oh, you. Oh yeah, just came in off the bottom and reeled up a little bit, one crank, and came in and just drilled it. So that's a yeah, that's, that's a great sign. Cool. Fish. Holy cow, man! I didn't even graph that one. I didn't even graph it. This fish is not happy. That's kicking nice. I downsized lures and I downsized rods. I didn't even grab that fish. Oh, crazy. That was an adrenaline rush. I looked and my rod bent in half and I'm like, what's going on? You just dropped down in this hole too, yeah, saying you're gonna come over. And... I did, I did. That's a nicer one. That's a nice one. Look at that rainbow. That's a gorgeous fish. Holy cow. Nice <laughs> fish. I'm like, uh, it's cold out here, guys. Like, I, butt, I just zipped up my jacket and I looked at my rod bent like that and I'm like, what's going on? I might as well set the hook. <laughs> That's a beautiful rainbow, huh? Yeah. That's nice. On just a little black jig and a plastic downsized i mean we had a couple fish that came in and looked at us and went away so i figured you might as well downsize we had good hooks into them that's a good fish that's getting into that 15 16 inch range maybe yeah I mean, hopefully we can get a little bit bigger ones throughout the day so that's a nice one though that's not bad at all i just love the colors on them they just look so gorgeous awesome that's a good start let's get them back huh yeah Nice. Doesn't I, feel like a very big one, but. I wonder if it's that same fish that just smoked you, me, man. I guarantee you it is. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. Look at that. That's huge. That's huge. <laughs> that's nice big. rainbow, huh? I'm almost glad I didn't catch it on my rocks. I don't know if I would have got it in. <laughs> that's a big yeah, one. Yeah, you literally just, you were not paying attention or something? I, just. I, I opened up my phone on that app and looked at the contours of this lake and my rod just doubles over and it's gone. And then two seconds later, you came get over here and just drilled it. Guarantee you it's that same fish. Because what these fish do is they just swim along this break and it's cruise. They go fast. And they're just, you know, they're suspended off the bottom. They're just, you know, zipping back and forth and these rainbow trout swim so fast. And there's clear lake like this, so you just give it jig a spoon a yep. couple times. I guarantee you hundred percent. You'll see fish, yeah. So. That's that's a beautiful, beautiful. nice rainbow. So. Wow, that's awesome. That's a very nice. I love the colors on them too. Got pink and purple, and that's that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big so. one. That's kind of what we came here for. Like, you know, I mean, there's even bigger potential than this, but we're kind of just taking a risk right now to get upper class fish like this. And I'm glad because that's, I mean, that's what we came here for. That's what we wanted to see. Yep, exactly. That's so. an awesome one. Let's get them back. <laughs>
When we care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. Some things we just can't afford to lose, and that is why we exist, because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior, Everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us. From opening weekend to the end of the season, you want every outing to be a success. Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants provide next level engine protection, both on the lake and on your way to it. Keep your mind on what's important this weekend. Choose Amsoil. Reliable as your favorite lure and as dependable as your secret spot. Visit Amsoil.com to find Amsoil products near you. And now, it's time for this week's Marco Moment. Brought to you by Markham Technologies. As your electronics get more and more powerful, it places greater and greater demand on the batteries that run them. Switching over to a lithium battery is going to give you sun up to sun down runtime. However, unlike a lead acid battery, you have to try to keep these warm. Even though they're fully charged, leaving them out in the cold is going to reduce your runtime by about 25%. So next time you're on a long trip, even though they're fully charged, bring them inside and keep them warm overnight, and it's going to keep wet on the ice longer. Trout are always going to live in clear water. So whether it's lake trout, rainbow trout, splake, you're going to have clear water. And with that, you want to use the lightest gear that you can get away with, especially fluorocarbon line. And today we rigged up these rods. Um, we took all the line off, put new line on. And I knew the weather today was going to be nasty. It's cold, it's windy, everything's icing up. It's not easy conditions. So with that, I, ideally for these trout, I want to use four pound test line. A, a trout's going to have trouble seeing four pound test fluorocarbon. Um, but with it being cold and icy, I want to beef up my line a little bit. So I have six pound test main line down to a four pound test fluorocarbon leader. Why? Because we're gonna have ice build up on our line. And oftentimes, I'll literally just take my hand and I'll run it down the line and scrape all that ice off. If I'm doing that to a four pound test fluorocarbon throughout the whole day, I'm definitely gonna compromise the integrity of that line, weaken it, damage it, and it could get broke off. So I beefed up my main line to six pound test, and I went down and I tied a knot to a four pound test fluorocarbon leader. And that's gonna really help you put more fish on the ice and give you the best chance at not getting broke off by one of these trout. There's one. Fish. Nice. Holy cow. This could be big. This feels big. This feels big. Man. He showed up. And, oh, I'm shaking right now. This is a big fish. Oh. Oh. These rainbows, man, they shake their head so hard. And they are so powerful and so strong. Here he is. Yes, that's a good one. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. I thought he was bigger, but I don't care at all. That is such a rewarding fish. The amount of effort we put in today, all the slush, all the snow, like, it just makes every single fish that much more rewarding. And if we came out here and caught one, I'd still be happy just because they are so special. Look at that fish. Man, are they fun. <laughs> what a fight on light line. These rainbows are very skittish, especially big ones. So we're using, I'm using light gear, trying to use the lightest gear we can get away with. And, oh, that's an adrenaline rush right there. What a fish. I love the colors of them, aren't they beautiful? What an awesome fish. Fish. Man, I did not even graft this one. 
it was just instantaneous. My rod was just doubled over. Oh, what a rush. We just got that last fish back down. This is two minutes later. This is two minutes later. Look at the fight of these fish. Look at the fight of these fish, man. Holy cow. How exhilarating is this? I'm shaking. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. I want to see this fish. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. This little black jig just has these fish turned on. Oh, you got to use light gear, though. Come on. Come on. Oh, he was right there, too. He was right there. Amazing. Come on, baby. I want to get this fish in so bad. Yes! Yes! Let him boy! Oh, man. Look at that. Two minutes after that last one. And look at that. Just another solid, like, I don't know, 15 inch fish. Look at that little black jig just right in the tip of its nose. Perfect hook job. Look at that. How amazing is that? Let's just get this fish back before it freezes. But I mean, it's just the whole storyline of it. It's like the harder you work and the more like crap you go through during the day, it just makes it that much more special. Like we haven't showed some of the stuff we've gone through on camera. I mean, it's like, we're literally up to like our waist and flush. Like, I mean, look at my bib. I mean, I'm just all covered in ice. Like everything is ice. And it's just been like a nasty day, but you know, I mean, fish like that just make it so rewarding. And that is so much fun. Oh, tiny little black jig. We're out here, we're all alone. You can hear snowmobiles and sled dogs in the distance. Like, it's alive up here on the Gunflint Trail with, you know, activity and these fish are just, that was fun. Oh, <laughs> if you guys have never done it, I would highly recommend it because it's a, uh, Definitely a bucket list trip, I'll tell you that much. On. My reels froze. Here he is. There we go. <laughs> I saw you. You were having some issues with that reel. That reel was so frozen up. Drag wasn't going. I wasn't getting anything on him. I just had to eventually just shake it a little bit and she finally went. That's what happens when you're moving around holes, you don't catch anything for, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes yeah. and there's slush everywhere. That freezing rain too, just cakes everything in ice. Isn't that crazy? That's a nice fish. No, not bad at all. What so did you graph them? I graphed them once and then about 30 seconds of nothing and then all of a sudden it shot off bottom and just hammered it. Really? Oh, cool. That's a good looking fish. There's a the fish. Oh, why is he gone? Here he is. There he is. Fish. Yes. Ooh, this is big. This is gone. No, he's there. Oh, come on. Yes. Come on, baby. What do we got here? What, what do we got here? This evening just keeps getting more and more magical. There it is. Good size one. That is a good one. Come on, baby. Get up there. Get up there. Yes. Oh, biggest of the day. That's a hefty fish. Look at the girth on that thing. I saw him down there and he hesitated for a minute. He went away and come back and just cracked it. Wow. My hands are so numb, I can't even do anything. <laughs> I mean, that's the size we want to see. There's a lot of other lakes around here where you can catch a bunch of rainbows, but you're not going to get the size. And we've been fortunate to see a couple of bigger ones like this today. Isn't that an awesome fish? Sure fish. Oh man. Awesome color. Yeah, they are gorgeous. They just fight so hard. Go on, buddy. They fight so hard. It is so windy out right now. So what we're doing is, again, we're using light gear and with light gear means you're impacted by the wind. So if I stand up and fish like this, that wind is literally blowing my line out and I'm just not having good control of my lure and I'm not gonna be able to feel a bite when a fish does hit. So really when it's this windy, 
kneel down or sit down and get closer to your hole and leave less space between your rod tip and your hole because the wind isn't going to have that much jurisdiction on you know how you fish so I have maybe I'm keeping maybe six inches of line outside of my hole up to my rod tip and that means I just have total control over that bait and how that bait moves and I feel everything so if a fish hits me right now I'm gonna feel it I'm gonna see it if I'm standing up and there's a big bow in my line from that wind I have no sensitivity and I'm not gonna see the bite either so um, you know windy conditions like this really kneel down and get close to your hole and you're gonna you know it's gonna help you put more fish on the ice for sure fish nice holy cow did he come out of nowhere he came out of nowhere man <laughs> kicking good kicking good yeah holy cow these rainbows I tell you I tell you where is he come on buddy look at that I mean they just take so much drag Oh, are they fun? Oh, are they fun? Are just starting to get dark too? Look just... at that! I know, I know that wind just died, and it's like super quiet out right now. How fun is this, guys? This is I mean, awesome. it's like, I mean, just like everything we've experienced today. How cool is that wolf to start the day out? We saw that big wolf on the river. I mean, just the beauty of it up here. And in my opinion, there's no 15-inch fish that will fight hotter than this. No, so. no, not even close. Look at that gunflint trail, rainbow trout. Beautiful fish. What a day it's been. What a what a day. What an experience. If you guys have never done this, come up the gunflint trail. Call the resorts. They can clue you in on specific lakes on what's hot and what's not. Look at the stocking reports. You know, I mean, information's out there to come up and just have a heck of a day like we have today. Isn't that a great fish? Great fish. Yeah. Let's get them back. And I love how they release, every fish just releases perfectly. They're just all healthy fish. Well, so. they're super healthy. Like they just have a ton of energy left and they just dart right down. So it's just, it's fun to see fish like that swim away. You know, we don't need to come in here and have an impact on the lake because we want to bring some home to eat. Like I, I could care less, you know. So um, it's just fun to watch fish like that swim away. What an ending to the day that was. I mean, it's just. You can't uh, make a more picture-perfect ending than that. Um, definitely ending on a high note. Yep. We thank you guys for watching us. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Um, visit our website, superiorangling.com. Um, again, 5.30 p.m. every Sunday evening, 18, 18 consecutive weeks. We'll be, we'll be on bringing you new, new content, new episode every week. So thank you guys again, and we'll catch you next time.